But first, Peter Dent spoke to witnesses who were left shaken by this fiery crash while also capturing that incredible escape. Peter, what did they tell you? Well, Lauren and Naja, the witnesses say they have not seen anything like this before. One woman said she looked up towards the sky and saw the helicopter with black smoke behind it. Carrie Allen says the second she looked up at the sky, she knew the BSO helicopter was in trouble. Just a bunch of black smoke and it kind of was just completely out of control. It just started to circle out of control and uh, plummeted down through the apartment roof. I just heard three loud explosions, just boom, 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 very, very loud. And I said to myself, something very bad just happened. The helicopter crashed right next to Julie Smith's apartment near the Pompano Beach Air Park. It sounded like real loud boom, like a big explosion. It was kind of devastating, actually, you know, because oh, I just, I don't know what to say. It was scary. My heart was just racing. Um, it was just a lot going on at the moment. I just felt many emotions. Um, I was scared. Um, nervous uh, for whoever was on board. Jared Liverpool used his cell phone to record video of fire rescue pilot Darren Roche and firefighter paramedic Mike Chaguaseta climbing down from an apartment rooftop after surviving the crash. The two men on the uniforms, uh, surprisingly, they didn't look like they had any injuries on them at all. They, they still looked, looked hurt. Um, you know, one of them said that their ribs uh, was broken probably. They seemed unscathed. They seemed fine. They, um, you know, they, they struggled a bit climbing up the roof, but they got down. Um, and the, the police officer was asking them, are they okay? Do you need any help, a stretcher? And the guys were saying, yeah, I think I can walk to the street. I should be fine. And Jared Liverpool says he will not forget the images of the two surviving crew members being able to walk away. They were both taken to Broward Health North in fair condition. We are live in Pompano Beach. Peter Danch, CBS News, Miami.